Enough is enough. That's what tenants of an apartment building in the Bronx are saying loudly tonight and with no small degree of anger. They have been living in deplorable condition, conditions and they say they're fed up. They're building rife with black mold, holes in the wall and lots of vermin. But the worst part, they say, their landlord won't do anything about it. And that's why they are insisting they're now standing up for themselves and suing the landlord. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu walked through that building to see for herself. She's live this evening in University High. Janice. Hi there, Bill and Sandra. Yeah, I had a chance to walk through the apartment building as well as uh, go inside some of the apartments. And you can understand why after seeing all of that, why these tenants are so frustrated. They say these conditions have existed for more than a decade now. And so some of them have actually taken it upon themselves to pay for the necessary repairs, while others say they've just had to learn to live with it. The walls are just feel like they're going to cave in. The sixth floor apartment Nico shares with his friend at 220105 Davidson Avenue has been riddled with issues. A hole in the ceiling of the bathroom, paint and parts of the wall are coming off. I saw started seeing like blooms of like mold in a way. So I did a lot to try to clean up the apartment. And in the meantime, I even had to like get a shelter because of the different like health conditions that I have that were flaring up. He's even started filling the apartment with plants to catch some of the falling water in the living room. There's cracks everywhere. And it's because of conditions like this, the Legal Aid Society announced Tuesday it's filed a lawsuit against the owners on behalf of 25 tenants. No justice, no peace. We need a place to sleep. Asking not only for immediate repairs, but for the city to remove ownership from Romad Realty, David Kornitzer, and Dove Gutman. They've completely dodged paying property taxes to the city of New York to the point where the city of New York is now owed a debt of $24 million on this building. There are nearly 500 open violations from the City Department of Housing, Preservation and Development, and there are more than 80 open violations with the Department of Buildings, and the owners owe more than $300,000 in penalties. Councilwoman Perina Sanchez says the tenants were unsuccessful in trying to turn the building over to a nonprofit through the city's now suspended third party transfer program. And in 2015, the city was ready to start foreclosing on the building, but the owners froze the proceedings by filing for bankruptcy. Every single program that the city of New York has has been used in this building and look how they are living to see a one year old and a two year old walking by with a wall of black mold with a hole in their ceiling. That ain't right. A lot of frustration there, and you can hear it from those tenants. And uh, we did reach out to the owners of the building, and they did not reply for comment.